Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the Vibe Tribe family. Are you guys excited to see the reveal? I know I am. Oh, I can't wait. I'm hoping they turned out. Like, I'm really hard on myself. So, and you guys, please be honest with me. If you have tips, tricks, if you think I could do something different, don't hesitate to let me know. You're not going to get yelled at, and I'm not going to rip your head off for it. Oh, I look like a mess. Whew, that was a long drive today. But I think we need to get into some demolding. So I'm going to stop on rambling here. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join the Vibe Tribe family by hitting that little red subscribe button. If you like today's video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up as it does let me know I'm on the right track for creating content. If you don't like it, that's okay. Give me the big old thumbs down. Don't bother me none. Thanks for the watch time. Thanks for helping me too. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as it'll let you know my squirrely videos upload. Okay, guys, let's pay a little homage to the Patreons and the members and do this. Hey, guys, editing Sherry. So... I'm just jumping on here. Normally I don't do this and kind of give a heads up, but I'm a little disappointed with the pores. They didn't quite go as planned. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment, but please don't take my tone of voice or anything as I'm giving up or anything. This is a learning curve. I haven't been pouring. Like I've been pouring for two years, but I've kind of been on an extended break, as you guys know that. So maybe this is me just justifying or making excuses. I don't know. <laughs> just please don't think I'm giving up. Um, again, thank you, Jadictions, for sending the resin to test out. I do, I very much enjoy using the resin. The resin is not the issue. It's the pouring. Help. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's get into this. Hey, hey, everyone. How's it going? How's your day so far? Hopefully it's a fantabulous one. Sherry here, a.k.a. Purple Door Crafts, who is excited for this. I know I've gotten so many messages. I've gotten, like, the comments, and it looks like I'm bleeding. <laughs> you guys, I have been running around in circles since I got back from doing this drive today, you know, trying to, you know, with getting the event going, so on and so forth. We will speak about that at the end of the video. As you can see, we have quite a few different pieces. Now, this one I cannot unmold because I still need to put, oh, actually I'm feeling this. Yeah, I can put a small, I, I still have to put a back on this one here, you guys. Now this here, it, sh it should have the 3D effect. Now I know I had shared a post on the Facebook page. If you are not following the Facebook page, I would definitely recommend following the business page because until I get the website up and running, Rosette, if you are watching this, we, we, we need the chat. Anywho, um, definitely follow the Facebook page because that is where I am going to be selling pieces as well as doing custom orders. We are there, you guys. It is time. So I have a video I'm going to be filming coming up that is going to show you guys the molds, pigments, all the different stuff that I have. But I had recently shared a post showing you guys some different pores. Well, here's one of them. This one did not really turn out. And this is like, you know, just trying to figure out different pouring techniques. But this is going to be great for like when I, like I have to paint some of these after I demold them with acrylic paint. These are good for little paint palettes. There was this one. I have to clean it up. But this, like I have to clean up the edges, you guys, around the edging here and to sand it down and whatnot. But this will be a piece that will be up for grabs. I am going to stencil a design on the inside. This is the coffin tray around the edge, glows in the dark. Like I said, gotta clean it up. Here is kind of like this same effect I did in here. 
but I need to add a darker background to show the 3D effect. So that's what I will be doing here. And with this pour, I didn't add enough color. This again has the glow in the dark edging. Great for a paint palette. Now this, I liked how this turned out. It's kind of similar to this, uh, this, the, this coffin one here. But I can't pour the back on it because it became loose. So this will be another paint palette for me. Come on now. But you can see how the white kind of separates from the colors and you kind of get like that popped out effect. Now I wasn't, I didn't get the white far enough, far enough down. So again, you guys, I'm still new and learning. And the one thing that I refuse is I will not put out shoddy products. I just won't. So, okay, you guys, I'm nervous. Like I am, I'm always nervous when I do this, the demolding. So I am gonna save just some of the smaller pieces to do like a reel over on Instagram. All right, so let's start with this one here. Oh, stick, stick, stick. So this is a tray. I don't have an example right now, but are we ready, you guys? Oh, I love that sound. I hope it turned out. Okay. All right, so there's here's this one here. Now, it mixed good here, but I, I do not know why for the life of me, I struggle at, like, to get it to swirl. Why? 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 Like, I don't know why I struggle for the life of me with that. I'm gonna have to work on that, you guys. So I am gonna paint this. Like, you know, I'm gonna put, using acrylic paint, this one will not be up for grabs. I do not like how it turned out. I'm picky. I, I am, I'm picky when it comes to the products. So these were poured yesterday morning, being Friday morning. And I mean, like this, you guys, like look at this resin. Like this is the Judictions resin. I will have them linked down below. You can use my affiliate link or you can use my code, save yourself 10% at checkout, save a little extra money. And it yes, I do make a small commission, but it goes right back into getting more products for creating. But like, like, look at this, you guys, like it is now I'm, I would still, if this was going to be up for grabs for sale, I would still give it at least 21 to 27 days for curing. Like it takes up to 28 days for resin to fully cure. We will talk about that in another upcoming video. Okay, you guys, I'm a little disappointed with that. I hope the rest of them didn't do that on me. I'm going to have to figure out what it is that I am doing wrong. Like, I love, okay, so we're going to do the mushroom. I love how this looks. Like, I love how this goes. Oh, oh I hope this turned out. I would be so embarrassed if none of them mixed for me or blended. Okay. Okay, no, I like that. Okay, I do like this. So this is a mushroom rolling tray for our 420 friends. Oh shit. So this one won't be up for grabs because for whatever reason, it didn't. I don't have an edging here. Like, The resin did not fully go down, which is fine. You guys, like, I'm not going to sit here. I don't sit here and act like I'm some big professional pourer. I'm learning. I do not know how that happened. Now, if you do see a piece that is what I call a practice piece and you are still interested in it, reach out to me. You know, we'll work something out. But, yeah, no, for me, that would be an example I do like the way it blended. I'm just not happy with that there. Well, gee, we're 0 for 2 right now. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, you guys, we're going to save the follow your dreams for last. Okay, so we have this one here, which is our more solid rainbow. Here we have more of a mixed up blended rainbow effect. Now the Mickey Mouse, I know quite a few of you were looking for this, looking at this here. All right, so let's do her. Let's do Mickey Mouse. I love the sound. I should totally do resin ASMR. Oh, I do like that. But what I need to do is, so it looks like he's got a little bit of a, I'm actually, I'm gonna, I always try to like do like leafing around the edging, but this does need to be painted with acrylic paint, which will be in a upcoming time lapse. You'll be able to see that on Facebook and in the Facebook page and on Instagram. So I do like how Mickey Mouse turned out. He is, I would, this will be a cover minder or like a wax minder tray. Okay, so we're one for two. <laughs> So the ones that I am going to demold on Instagram are going to be like these smaller ones here. Just because I'm, you know, trying to, I'm trying to do better with my social media. We will do one 3D. How does that sound? Oh, we have my other big 3D piece. We are going to look at that today, you guys. So this here is a 3D dragon's head. That This is multiple layers. I tried something different. Okay, so let's take a look at our dragon here. This was just, I had leftover colors and I will not, I like that. So this will be a cover minder that will be up for grabs eventually. Patreons and YouTube community members always have first dibs. So I always, I will be giving them a week. Like, so anything that I am, actually willing to sell will be up on the Facebook page and then for Patreons and members, they will be notified and then everyone else will be able to have access next week. So a week from now, and I will be continuing to pour. Like I'm not, like I don't have, I ran out of addictions, but I still have some of my two to one casting resin that I will be using. I just don't have any epoxy right now. So if you pour resin and please, please reach out to me and let me know what I'm doing wrong. Why can't I get this to look like that? <laughs> Is it I'm not pushing down hard enough? I'm not pushing the color down? Like I said, I'm still learning. Okay, you guys, I have to look at the dragon's head. I have to. I got to look at the dragon's head. So this actually has stones in it. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. I will show you. Oh, I'm going to have to pop it out. Okay. Okay, you can't really see the stones. We're going to leave this out because I'll be pouring in him again very soon. So it has a darker top. And then in the center, there is tigers. There is a tiger's eye. You can probably see through there. So what it is is I don't have a thick enough clear layer, but it's with you know, it's the it's the dragon set that matters. But there is um, two dragons. There is two tiger's eye stones, and then a agate in the center. So this would be a stoned three uh, dragon's head. I don't know. I don't know what I'm, if that's what I'm going to call it. I do like how it turned out. So if this is something that you'd be interested in, I do need to, you know, sand the bottom and smooth it out. But as you can see, the points turned out. There is no bubbling. The only thing that like there's no bubbling on there. I learned a trick. <laughs> I am probably going to, I might use this piece actually just for doing some acrylic painting. I want to see how like for acrylic painting 3Ds. I just need to sand the bottom. And then this is opaque white with 
This is a glow in the dark green. So this should glow at night. We shall see. Okay, next I want I want to see how this turned out. Okay, you guys. So this is a crystal trinket tray. Come on now. I do like how that turned out. Now I do have some bubbling on the bottom of this. That is something that I'm not going to, you know. So this would be a rainbow trinket tray. You can see there is some bubbling on the bottom. No, don't like that. Now I will be painting with like a black acrylic to bring out the etching. So we'll see how it looks after that. But this would definitely, because of the bubbling, would be sold at a discounted rate. So. And it still needs, like you can see, like this is still bendable right now. It's not, so it still needs to cure. And this is the thing, like if you send something that's not fully cured in the summer months, it's going to warp. It is going to warp. You know, like it's just, it's not gonna, it's not gonna end good, especially if it's a functional piece. So this needs to lay down on a flat surface right now. So it doesn't get any warping, but I am happy with how that turned out. Okay. Let's move on to our eye tray. This is gonna have, I'm gonna have some edging, like or some sanding around the edges to do. Add a little bit of excess pour over, but I always try to sand down. I definitely like how the bottom turned out. Now this has etching, an etched design as well. So this will be, okay, so we don't quite have the same effect. So you kind of got the marbling on this side, but on this side, you just kind of got your solid effect. I am having a very bad day. I'm not, I, I'm not saying I don't like it. We'll see how it looks once I, and it's got some bubbling too. So that is something that I will continue to work at. I gotta figure out what it is I am doing wrong. Like, why is it I get beautiful marbling effect like here, but I don't get it here? So like I said, if you pour resin, please let me know what it is that I am doing wrong, that I'm not getting the same effect on both sides. I mean, like I said, I'm still learning. That's the fun process, you know? Like when you're learning a new craft, I have never ever tried to claim that I'm perfect. That's what, why do you think I've been doing this for two years, not steadily, not like I will be now. You know, and I have yet to really sell anything. Okay, you guys, phone stand, here we go. And we definitely had some over pour. I got like, you guys like just see it right on the table there. That's like a big bloop. So as you can tell by the color of pigments I use, I definitely love my cool tones. Okay, so here is just the stand part. Like I, I use lots of blues, greens, pinks, purples. I really got to start using more warm tones. So this was just some, uh, the shade indigo with some glitters. <sighs> Let's see how this turned out. And Mr. Purple was supposed to level my tables for me and he has not done that yet. Now I have, this is my first time using this glitter and it's looking like it might sink. Yes, it does. So this will not be up for grabs because A, it is too thin. As you can see, it's not, and I just don't like how it turned out. Dear Lord, help me, Father. Like, you guys, I'm so picky, but it looks like a lot of the, because of my tables aren't level like he promised me he would do, a lot of the resin seeped out of the mold onto the table, so. This will not be up for grabs, but now I'm seeing that I don't like using this glitter when I'm trying to just do an effect like that. Learning curve. Okay, you guys. So like I said, this one here, we're not gonna see until Instagram. So the next one that we are gonna do is follow your dreams. This is the one that I have the highest hopes for. Okay, 
but I wasn't trying to do like the triangle tray. I wasn't trying to do a marbling. This was just laying the colors down. I love the sound. I don't think you guys have actually seen this piece yet fully. Okay, I'm liking that. I got to do my acrylic painting. So I've got to bring out the etching. But it says follow your dreams. But again, I am not liking. So I'm not liking this glitter whatsoever. I'm really not. So I will paint the etching. But again, this will not be up for grabs. I don't like the way it looks. The colors didn't really blend. I've got to get better with my blending. That is something I am absolutely noticing right now. I really need to work on my blending. So I am going to be watching lots of videos and learning. So hopefully the next pour will be better. All right, but at least that way you guys are going to have a sample tray. But yeah, I'm not liking this glitter like whatsoever for mixing with, like as you can see, like I'm really not liking how that looks. Like I like the glitter is gorgeous. I'm just not liking how it looks with this here. So that was definitely a wrong combination. And I do write down all my combinations that I do. So I will know not to use this like that again. Okay. Okay, you guys. So I think maybe we'll pop open a couple more small ones. So pretty much the bigger pieces were... A <laughs> they really were. Like this was an absolute flop. It'll just be good for a paint palette. This will be good for an extra piece for when I actually do get one done. So that was a complete flop. Flop. But that's okay. Okay. Oh, it is killing me to not demold this one right now, you guys. It really is, but I want to get the back on it. So yeah, I was happy with the with Mickey. Just got to do my painting. And you'll see the finished product over on Instagram. Okay, I got to take another peek. I got to look at the dragon's head. I'm liking that. And that is to a glitter with another color put together. As you can see, it's like a sapphire blue. With, but I do like that. I just need to do some acrylic to kind of bring out the eyes in that. But this will be a cover minder. I'm good with little pieces. Okay, we're going to do one more, uh, which would be, this would be a trash drill tray. And then that will leave, these need to come over here. So that will leave, let's move the molds. I'll have a couple pieces for, for an Instagram reel. I said, I'm disappointed, but I'm learning. All right, so this here would be like a trash drill tray. I'm going to attach a mag, like a dual magnet to it. I do like that color combination. I do like that. That, whoop, that turned out really nice. So this will be up for grabs with the other cover minders sometime in the next week. Okay, you guys, I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to chat for a few minutes, and then we're going to end this up. See you in the next clip. Hey, you guys. Okay, so let's finish this up. Am I satisfied and happy? Nope, I'm not. They did not turn out the way I wanted them to, but this is a learning curve. You guys are along for the journey. Lots to learn. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong. I will figure it out. And the next pour will be different. Oh, yes. Mark my words. Okay, you guys. So the mental health awareness craft along is kicking off uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. Mountain. You will have a chatty video up on the channel talking about that, sharing what it entails. There will be a Google document we will need you guys to fill out. And we have six amazing sponsors wonderful prizes so be sure to check out those um uh, lisa's channel we also have a third person who has joined us this year this is our second year doing this but we will discuss that in the chat video 
Okay, you guys, I'm gonna finish this up. I'm tired, it's been a long day, and tomorrow I am gonna be telling my truths. I need to get some sleep for that. Okay, you guys, it didn't quite go as I wanted, but it's all good. Okay, on that note, I'm gonna bid thee all farewell. Stay positive, live blessed, and until next time, many, many blessings. Namaste. Bye, guys. That's all, folks. <laughs>